The most recent data shows that in the last quarter of 2023, 2.2 million people visited the Magic City, and that's 21% increase in tourism compared to the year before. KX News' Kiara Brown stopped by the office that helps make that tourism magic happen and gives us a sneak peek into their summer plans for this month's KX Gives Back. Visit Minot is your one-stop shop for all things happening in the Magic City. From sporting events and concerts to upcoming projects and economic development, the Visit Minot team has a hand in every piece. You don't realize how many people are coming to Minot all the time from outside the area. So last year in 2023, between June, July and August, we had people from all 50 states and 25 countries coming to Minot, North Dakota and signing our visitors guest book. She says not only have they seen an uptick from people all around the country stop in, but visits from our neighbors to the north are finally back to pre-pandemic numbers. And it's not just for the shopping anymore. Canadians still love coming down from Minot, but they love to come to events and concerts and entertainment. Our zoo, of course, the North Dakota State Fair, North Coast Fest, the Magic City Discovery Center. Downtown Minot, we heard from Canadians like crazy how they are loving our downtown Minot. And speaking of downtown, it's still growing with some new projects set for this summer. This year, um, we do have a destination development grant. And and so we're going to be seeing a few million dollars worth of projects happening in downtown um, for an outdoor plaza area. Um, a typical brewery is, is going to be doing um, an expansion there for some of their outdoor area. Um, Prairie Sky Bread is going to be doing a new addition. Um, and then there's going to be a new, a new place called The Junction. Visit Minot staff say there is a lot planned for the next few months. And that's why it's so important to check their events calendar. Checking our events calendar when you're in town as either a visitor or someone who lives here will give you all the things to do. There's always something going on in Minot and then submitting those events. It's, it's free to submit. It's very easy. You just create an account, submit with an image, a description, location, and then people see it. We just push it out and you get thousands of eyes on it for free. The team says sending in your events, no matter how big or how small, are crucial to the city's tourism. They say the Magic City community is what keeps people coming back year after year. Kiara Brown, KX News. And Kiara brought lunch to the Visit Minot team as part of our KX Gives Back campaign. They tell us they just got back from some Canadian trade shows where they talked to Canadian visitors about Minot and their experience there. Canadians tell them they're loving all of the Mexican restaurants in the Magic City and they are especially excited to see Lainey Wilson and Motley Crue at the North Dakota State Fair. Sean Rock adds that recent data shows 28% of credit card sales are coming from outside of Ward County, which benefits property tax for people living in town and also keeps the small businesses alive and thriving.